Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Bloodborne. And as you can see, we got the weapon. But I want to ask you now, for next time, would you like me to keep all the grinding in? Well, it didn't take me that long, to be honest, but I think it would get boring for you guys to see all the things over and over and over and over again. But I do have some of it recorded if you want to see it. Look at the freaking detail on this thing. So I can release it if you really want to. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit special. We're going to revisit areas we've already been and either deliver payback on people, like remember the big giant executioner at the start of the game, or Gatling gun guy, and revisit some of those places and see if we can find stuff that we missed previously. So there are going to be cuts here and there, well, when something interesting happens, it will be in the video, so don't worry too much. Okay, and as you can see, it kind of looks like the sun is going down. Look at that view. By the way, what I do want to show you is what I did do to this weapon. It's plus five because we had enough, so I thought, why not get it and upgrade it as far as we freaking can. And now we're actually going to find out how strong this weapon actually is. So I'm going to see it, what I can do with this guy. Damn, my gun is strong against these guys. I, I got to take a look here. Show okay, that's a one hit. Let's see what this does. Whoa! Okay, that's a really long charge up. Whoa. Okay, let's risk our lives and see what happens if we just go in. Uh oh, yeah. It uses a lot of stamina though. Well, holy crap, this thing is strong. Okay. Now, this Executioner can still kill me, so let's hope he actually doesn't pay back to me, you bitch. Oh! Woo! How about no? Oh! Gotta be very careful, it's a small, small place! Oh! Flying fuck! What the flying? Hold on. Oh shit! This guy seems to not like me. Ooh. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Damn. Why is that guy so strong, or so aggressive? But yeah, bye bye, asshole. Damn, payback feels good. <laughs> okay, so the next place we're going is... Oh yeah, I know where we still have to go. Because remember back in episode 3 when we met Eileen the Crow, we went to a place where we cut two items down from the rafters, and we never went down to pick them up. So, I'm going to run back there and actually go pick them up this time, so see you guys there. Okay, so now we gotta clear this place, and then we can actually jump down. Okay, run in for the kill, run in for the kill! There we go. This sword is really strong. I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. Let's see. If I go in guns blazing. Wow. Wow, just wow. Nothing more to add to that, really. So. We need to jump down.
Okay. Kill the rat. We gotta jump down twice, though. Because we still have to jump down on the other side as well. Throwing knives. What is this? Saw sphere? Oops, wrong button. Oh. Well, this looks like more of a thrusting weapon, so we could use that thrust thing on it. Nothing here? Okay, now we gotta make our way to the other side, though. So, let's go do that. We gotta climb all the way back up, though. Okay, hope I don't get attacked, but oh damn those snipers of course Damn snipers Maybe I can lure them in here Woo! That guy is probably the most annoying of this bit Nope Move to the other side and kill this guy quick. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. That's just another guy. It's just another guy. You know what I'm actually hoping for? That I'm going to be invaded. You know, that's what I probably will include in this video too. Like, maybe I'll do a quick online thing. Helping somebody with, like, the cleric beast or something of that nature. Nothing here. One rat here. Look at that eyeball. That's is that an eyeball? Well, if it's an, it looks like an eyeball, and looks like it's really infected. And wow. Oh, shit! I thought you died. I don't know what you guys did, but wow. Okay, they went to town on somebody there, and bloodstone shards. So, now, oh shit, I remember what we still need to do. We still need... God damn, I, I don't know what to do about it, but... Oh, I'm just going to talk to the little girl and see what my options are. Because do I really have the heart to tell her mom or daddy is dead by my hand and mommy is dead by daddy's hand? And she's basically an orphan. I need to go get that. I need to go get this. Bloodstone shards. Now we gotta climb all the way back up. Just my freaking luck. See that? That's the thing. Sometimes you really want to get something, but like, this is like the third or fourth time that we've been climbing up this one ladder. Not that it matters too much, really. I love this game so much, I could probably play it for years, like I did with Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Thank God of all... ...of our endurance. Oh, I knocked you out of the air, dude. Get owned. <laughs> Get owned, man. Okay, let's drop down here. That actually did more damage than I thought it would. And let's go visit the little girl. You know, I forgot her name, though. Did she ever tell us her name? I don't think she ever did, though, but... Let's just kill these guys for extra souls. Oh, wow. Whoa. Three in one go. Oh, yeah, now we got that big guy, of course. Let's see. Well, we could put the thrusting thing on here as well with this. Uh-oh. Oh, that actually knocks him back? Oh, I, d 
Okay, those guys are made easy thanks to this great sword. I like how you go from little short sword to great sword instantly, you know? So, let's go talk to the girl. Hello, Miss Hunter. Still can't find my mom. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just gonna give the jewel. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Oh no, I feel so bad. Stop crying, little girl. Uh, okay. I'm I'm so sorry. L3 switch actions. Have an audience with the child. Uh, I'm not going to rate that because my audience with the child wasn't really what you call good. So, I'm... Hmm. You know, what the... Am I supposed to do now? I'm going to think of what... Oh, I... we're going to Old Yarnum. We're going to Old Yarnum, so... Let's see if I still have enough of these things. And see you guys in Old Yarnum. Okay, we're in Old Yarnum, and you might be thinking, why the hell are you going through the church, and it seems somebody is fighting the beast at the moment. The reason I'm going through the church is because every time I go through the other way, I seem to be getting shot at by that machine guy, and I think this is one of the best ways for me to actually go behind the tower and climb up and actually sneak up on the guy. So that's why I'm doing this and let's um, equip the Molotovs. Oh shit. What? Get back here. Damn those guys are hard to hit. He isn't facing me. Okay. This sword is even strong. Well, it's not as strong as, as the saw thing, for some reason. But it is pretty strong. I think I just have to kind of use it like this against bigger enemies and I'll just have to get used to the switching oh I didn't know that other guy was oh okay so we can go up here so let's throw this Molotov and rush in oh yeah those were the two the two werewolves there Oh, I remember that jump scare this werewolf gave me the first time. <laughs> and apparently I wasn't the only one judging from the comments. So, wish me luck with Gatling Gun Guy and... Let's kill this guy just in case. Oh! F in case? He's still got a hit in on me. So I believe... No, this... wait. No, this is not where I want to be. This is not where I want to be. I have to go further. Holy crap, I went the wrong way, so... yeah. Damn it! I gotta find my path, so see you guys in a second. I do have to really get used to the freaking heaviness of this sword. Damn! He, he caught me off guard! Was that it? Or are there more? 
Was there one more here? No, that was one of the ones that actually attacked us. And it always helps backtracking like this. For the sole reason that you can find st stuff you missed. I still gotta figure out what that bloody sound is that I keep hearing. This is not the first time I hear this sound. For some reason I have a feeling it has something to do with being invaded or something. Which I hope at this moment I don't get invaded because otherwise I might die and have to backtrack a whole lot. Okay, the ladder is here, so... Ugh. Wish me luck, I'm going to fight Gatling Gun Guy. Wait, I thought he was up here. Is that the wind sound? Because if that's the sound of the wind, then, uh... Wow. I'm probably going to need a heavy weapon, so I'll just switch before going up there. Let's put this on our hotbar for extra healing. Although we got 21, this will make 23. Wow, this is going high up. This is going really high up. Oh, you actually are attacking me. Whoa! You're strong. You're really strong. Oh, you're extremely strong. Okay, uh... Oh, God, he's really strong. Oh, wow. Uh, shit. Fall off! Oh shit, I fell off too. You're not hunting beasts. Well, I hope to god that my well my blood echoes won't be up there because I died once to a couple of werewolves on the way back. But I hope what he dropped is up here. Would be kinda unfair if it's down there though. Yep, there it is. There it is. What did he drop? Powder keg badge. Huh. We got a badge. So this was the machine gun he was using on us, eh? Wondrous joy, but it, it all thanks to fall. I'll give it to you. So now that he's not firing on us, we can go down there and actually explore some stuff we did not explore before. So let's head on down. Trust my luck, I'll drop down. That... I know you're wearing gloves, but even with wearing gloves, that should not feel comfortable. Okay, there's... There was this hunter guy thing up here, right? Let's switch to this weapon for now. Oh! How about, uh, we're running. We're running already. Jesus frickin' Christ. Please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. Please climb the ladder after me. Come on, climb that ladder after me. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. Come on. I know you want to. Bring it. What the hell is that guy doing? Just... <laughs> wow. But he parried me. He parried me. So... I have a better idea. And I think you guys already know what I'm gonna do. We're going to enter Old Yarden from the other side. Okay, time to explore 
the parts of old Yarnum that we haven't seen before. Which... Okay, let's go kill this guy. Switch weapons, please. Thank you. And... Oh. Yeah, I saw your eyes. What the hell is with these guys? They're so freaking fast. At least I'm getting my HP back when I'm fast enough in hitting him. Wait. Let me do this. Oh, the, these were the guys that weren't affected by the fire. That guy would be, though. Apparently not this guy. Oh! Oh, now you're afraid of the fire. I, I, I'm speechless. I really can't figure out their patterns. So now, we went down that way before. Did we end up here, though? Wait. Yeah, we did end up here. Oh, there's a ladder here. So now that nobody's shooting at us... We can... Wow. Okay. Just let me get down. Oh. No, this guy is here. Oh, shit. Okay, I can already feel that you are going to be annoying. Okay, I can get him with the trick weapon maneuver. Oh shit, he got me. Or is this another one, by the way? Or is this the same one? Oh, 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 oh. Ah shit, where the hell did that crow come from? They heal? Wow, that was annoying. And that bloody crow. Okay, now... You annoying bitch. Oh, dodge, dodge. Dodge in every direction you know, and... Oh, shit. Use... that. There we go, that one's dead. Now get rid of the frickin' crows. Or the one crow that was being really, really, really annoying. Okay, so is there anywhere we can go from here? Can we cut this guy down, maybe? I feel bad for him. Like, he really got messed up, man. Anything behind here? No, 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 no. A few notes. Special item awaits ahead. I don't know if I should trust this, though. Probably going to be a freaking ambush up ahead. I feel like Batman sometimes in this game. <laughs> okay. Let's switch to a better weapon. I feel an ambush coming. I can hear the pitter-patter of all kinds of weird stuff. Oh yeah, they're coming. Yeah. They're coming. Oh wow, yeah. 
It's not like you fooled me or something. Jesus Christ, just get your ass over here. Come on. There are a lot. Jeez, there are more than I expected. Like, look at that. Yeah, follow the leader. You guys might as well. Come on. Or not. Can I use this to scare this guy? I don't trust it. They might come running down again. Blood fouls. This guy blo drop blood fouls in a chest. I'll read that in a second. I don't really got the time to read these things because there are a lot of these guys around. You know, I'm not even gonna sneak up on you guys anymore. Oh shit. I should have. But I won't. Be behind me. Yeah, right. Like. Oh, that's... Rifle Spear? I'll check that out in a second as well. I just want to keep going. I'll check all these stuff when I get back to the Hunter's Dream. Or at least until I'm safe. The Red Moon hangs low. The beast rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? Is that why everything is burning? Hmm. Oh! Let me go outside, kill these guys, and try it on. See how much we bloody miss. Oh, there was another w Why did I go... Why did I go the difficult way in? Okay, so let's try on this armor, because this one... Let's just put on the hunter's hat. Charred hunter garb. One of the staple uh, article of hunter attires fashioned at the workshop. A product of a scourge of the beast that once plagued old Yarnum and... Hum oh... Fiery cleansing, eh? Fiery cleansing is never good. That does look... Oh, wow. That does look cool, though. Might keep it on for a little bit. And I believe... Yeah, we already went up there. Okay, bring it. Yeah, we've already been up there. So, we kind of had old Yarnum now. So, let's head back. Okay, now... Let oh, wait. We got that other weapon, right? We got the... Oh, I can't even use this. You need... I need... Oh, three more points into Blood Tinge. So, I can't really use it. So, but we can read it. A trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics. The powder kegs. A prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear. Possibly created in imitation of the lost Chainhurst weapon. Lacks... Any notable function, saving that it would only trick weapon with a attached gun. Okay. Do we have anything new for sale? Because we got that badge now. Apparently, rope Molotov cocktail. Okay. Stake driver and rifle spear. Uh huh. We have the Ludwig rifle. 
Uh, repeating pistol we already had. Flame sprayer. Oh, wow. Tomb prospector hood. Tomb prospector garb. Attire of Tomb Prospectors who explore old labyrinth on behalf of the Healing Church. The Healing Church traces its roots to Bergenworth and is therefore aware of the ru runes through importance. They contain more, uh, much more than mere hunter's trinkets. Indeed, they hide uh, the very secrets of the old great ones sought after by those with the insight to imagine greatness. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah. I would actually like to save up for something like this. But I would also like to... Wow, I don't know. ED... I really don't know. But, yeah. There is a couple new things unlocked. Our character looks really cool right now, so I'm going to say we kind of done what I wanted to do and finish up loose ends like that freaking executioner and old Yarnum. So now we can actually focus on continuing finding our way to the next areas. So see you guys next time. Bye bye.